continuing with our series of painting with what you have today I'll be using Marabou products and I'm using the aqua ink um, products which is called uh, graphics aqua inks and the colors we will be using today are citron sunshine yellow vermilion ultramarine blue Rosita, and mint now if you don't have any of these colors that's okay if you don't have the uh, aqua uh, ink paints that's fine too you can use watercolors and usually you know whatever you have so now I'm gonna um, start doing a watercolor and I'm using 300 pound uh, watercolor paper uh, this is gonna be a real simple very loose design I sketched a little bit the flowers that I'm gonna do so that I can do my video but uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wet my brush and dip it into a little bit of my yellow and not put too much on it and I'm just gonna dot drop my colors uh, in random areas. It doesn't have to be all um, matchy matchy, right? So we're gonna have yellow flowers and I'm gonna take a little bit of the darker yellow and drop it in in between and do the centers. Uh, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the stems of our little uh, leaves here. So what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of water on it to get it started. And starting with my uh, light green, which is my Reseda green, I'm going to put some of that color on there. And see, it's almost like a citrus green. I really like this color. So these are going to be our leaves. And you see how it, it, by just putting your color in there, it becomes a little bit different. So now I'm going to let that dry just for a tad. And I'm going to take some of my darker green and just drop it in there. And this is my mint color green. And these colors are very springy. So for Easter, this is a great little project to do and decorate your Easter table since now at this time we're all indoors, right? I hope everybody's all indoors. Um, I'm going to let that dry a little bit and I'm going to do my little clay pot. So I'm going to wet my pot a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my paint and I'm going to do my uh, vermilion. And I'm just going to let that go wherever it wants to go. And it's going to be very sparse. So I don't care um, if it's not completely covered. This is a watercolor, remember. And then for our background, I'm going to just put some water uh, in our background. Um... And let that sink in just a tad and I'm going to take a little bit of the green that we use for our flowers and drop that in there so that it gives us a nice little shadow on the sides here and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to use a little bit of that blue to just drop it on my pot so that it looks almost like little stains of color and I'm going to come here and do a little lip right a little clay pot and as you see the water is just starting to spread around to all the little corners here and now we're going to go back to our flowers and I'm going to put a little bit of that red center uh, into our flowers so that that can pop and then for the background I'm just going to put some uh, a little bit more water over here and take a little bit of my dark green and drop that in there wipe my brush And spread it all over and if you want if you want to make your pot a little bit darker what I would do is just take a little bit more red and while that's spreading everywhere I wouldn't do it all over the pot though I'm just gonna do it just a little bit on the sides here and if you want to make your flowers a little bit darker take your darker yellow and put those around your red so that that can that red can spread out and we're almost done I'm just gonna put some of that green on here and for the background up here since I don't want it to be completely white all over I'm just gonna put a little bit of water clean water don't use dirty water like I just did and I'm going to take some more of that lighter green and spread that around the edges here. And maybe take a little bit of that red, just a tad, so that it can be a reflection from the pot. 
And there you go. You got a nice, pretty painting for Easter. Now, like I always say, try to frame your pieces with a little mat. And if you want, when it's dry, outline it with a little pen. But that should be great for an Easter project for you to do with your kids.